Welcome back to the Shimmy Show. It's raining outside, so it's like a lazy day. Mango juice day today. Play that inner circle beat right now. Ah. Scratch it down a little bit. All right. So, how you guys doing today in internet land, TV land? I'm gonna devote all of five fucking minutes to the outside world and talk about some shit. So welcome back to the Shimmy Show. Um, yesterday was a shopping day for me. I didn't do too much but get a massage and go shopping here in Thailand. I uploaded another episode called Black in Thailand Part 3. Part 3, motherfucker. So check it out if you want to. It was about street food and some food from the night market and all the cool stuff. I ate some barbecue crocodile, some bugs, some fucking everything. It was some good shit. So anyway, let me show you guys what I got for um, very cheap actually at, at one of the markets here. Right? A couple products. This will be a short five minute episode I'm sure. So, first cool product in Thailand I got Obama cologne. <laughs> It was only a hundred baht I had to buy it. That's like fucking three dollars and ten cents. I, I was all out of my fucking, uh, my favorite Burberry Touch is my favorite at home actually. I got the highest reviews on Amazon and girls like it actually. But this, it smells aye. But just for the packaging and for novelty purposes only, I got Obama cologne. It's, I don't know who the fuck, where's it made from? Holy shit, it's made in Canada? Wow, Woodbridge, Ontario of all fucking places. And they imported it here, all the way to Thailand, wow. How the fuck about that? Shirley May, Obama Cologne. I don't know if Barack endorses this product. <laughs> okay, well, that's one of the products I got at the market. And the last thing I want to point out here is, um, you guys might notice I wear these fucking, um, stand up on a chair here, I'm short. I'm short motherfucker, but I wear these um, like football jerseys, soccer for you Americans, but Football is a very popular sport worldwide, especially in Thailand. And I buy these jerseys all the time because they're great for running in and uh, working out in. You know, I I like them. They're good. You know, I don't sweat through them too bad due to my hyperhidrosis and shit like that. And they're they're good workout clothes. So this particular one, uh, I don't know shit about the teams or whatever, but jerseys I usually pay a hundred baht for, which is like three dollars and ten cents, depending on what this one. This one was. Uh, some might be double the price, some might be like five dollars. Ooh, five dollar fucking high quality clothing or whatever, right? But let me show you guys the quality of the shit here because this is what I would consider like a medium, mid-grade or low to mid-grade quality or whatever. And here's just for example, these are some laundry I have to do today. There's actually a tailor shop. There's a lot of Indian tailors in um, Thailand in this area in particular. Let me pause for this fucking music here. Mute it. Okay, there's a lot of um, East Indian tailors and tailors from fucking, um, what's it called, Myanmar and places like that. They actually have like literal sweatshops here where they will um, print and produce damn near any jersey of any fucking quality and even do fucking custom numbers, embroidery and shit for only a couple dollars. Literally like... For an extra 200 baht, for an extra fucking like five dollars, you can get your name and your own number embroidered on the back. It's nice, high quality, uh, whatever they call it, silk screen, screen printing, and whatever, and all that good shit. This is what I would call like a premium quality jersey, right? I paid through the nose for this one, like double price. <laughs> Whereas this one here, if you if I hold it up side by side, this is a cheaper version of it for a, this is the three dollar version okay if you guys can tell and this here is like the six five six dollar version customized okay notice the how oh shit one of them is much bright even though i have to wash them both um this one's like kind of a less off white and this one's a more bright white with a thicker material if you could see side by side or whatever but you know we're talking like the two, three dollar difference or whatever, but this one's clearly a heavier material, higher grade material, and this one's still okay for running and this and that or whatever. But um, 
that was my little shopping trip. You know, I got some jerseys to exercise in and uh, some Obama cologne and some more other jerseys or whatever too because I got to do laundry, but I work out all the time and uh, shit. So anyway, yeah, man, Thailand is awesome for shopping. Uh, I said this was only going to be a five-minute episode or whatever. <laughs> and it is. At least the shopping part is. Haha, -ha, now I can talk about some more shit. Um, what did I mention on my channel? This is my channel, by the way, one of my... The YouTube channel that I really don't really give two shits about that this is being uploaded to right now. Uh, my real, my actual job that I do, my, my adult channel and all that other shit, I actually do real work during the day. This is more like one of my stats from another page or whatever here. Currently sitting at 96,612,165 views, sir. <laughs> And all that shit. Just, this is just one of my motherfucking things, you know. I got like a whole bunch of um, channels and shit. And this isn't the only motherfucking shit that pays me. But, I mean, it's like I'm a busy person if you guys can't tell. This YouTube shit is just like literally for fucking fun. It's something I fuck around with like in the background while I'm doing the actual, actual statistics of my, uh, my real shit. So... I don't actually have time, all the fucking time, to respond to motherfuckers' micro comments and emails and hey bro, how are you, blah blah blah. I just don't got the time all the time. And I want to point this out to you motherfuckers to understand that. If 96 million other motherfuckers are looking at my shit and all typing shit to me, do you really think I have time to address all your fucking issues? Like, come on, really? Now, obviously, I'm going to do what pays first, right? Always do what pays first, then do your other little fun projects or whatever. But keep in mind, this YouTube shit for the Shimmy Show, Shimmy Triple X, is just for me. Okay? This takes the priority, the real deal shit. All right? Fuck. Now, what else was I going to talk about before I actually get to, re to fucking real webmaster work today? Um... I made a little quick note on my notepad about some shit. All right. Well, I was just checking through some emails here. Yeah. Um, this is my mom. <laughs> it shows you that your mother loves you and she emails you every day in caps, caps and shit, right? She writes, I mean, as any son, I love my mother. But she, she writes a lot of shit and whatever and whatever and whatever. I can't, it's so much I can't read it all and I, I can't read shit in capital letters. Like, come on, you know, you're... You know how to type in normal fucking lowercase. Give me a break. But all this shit, she's basically saying, blah, you know, I see all your videos, this, that, that, and the other. Don't don't worry about the hater and haters and people and all that shit. Well, what I have to say, since I don't even feel like hitting reply and responding to that right now, is fucking, um, please, this goes out to not just my mother, but everyone, um, it's not a good idea to tell people how they should cope or deal with whatever issues they're going on or whatever, unless they actually ask their opinion of you. You know what I'm saying? You, it's not good to tell people how they should suffer and how they should deal with their pain and issues and shit like that going on in their life. You know what I'm saying? I'm not the kind of person that likes to internalize stress. I could sit here stewing, being like, oh, these, these people fucking with me, and they doing this, and they messing with me, and when I leave my house, they following me, and this and that, and I'm going to just sit in my room and just keep it all to myself. No, motherfucker. Fuck that. I got a fucking camera. I'm going to push the red button and talk about it, and it's my way of not only venting, but putting my story out there. You know what I'm saying? Silence is not good. Silence is not a good option all the motherfucking time. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, man, just <laughs> as motherfucking vilified as I am, you know what I'm saying? As the Jews say, lest we forget. Are you going to tell the Jews to stop talking shit about Hitler? That nigga been dead for over 50 fucking years. They don't let off him. Every fucking movie, every show, every book, every, 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 they keep his name and memory alive just to point out, lest we forget. If you fuck with me, lest we forget. I don't care if you in the motherfucking ground, six feet deep with worms that ate out your fucking eyeballs and shit, and you're just a goddamn skeleton. I'm not going to let people forget you fucked with me and stained my name. Fuck that shit. You know what I'm saying? So please don't tell me how I should deal with people who fuck with me. That's no, that's no one's position to tell a fucking victim to not talk shit about their abuser. 
to be silent about people that abuse them and, you know, just fuck with them or whatever. Fuck that shit. If, you're, if someone's abusing you and you're being silent about it, that's your goddamn problem. It's your own fault. You, you have the right to be vocal. You have the right to express yourself. If you don't like me, you have a right to make a motherfucking channel like this and make all kinds of fucking bullshit ass reply videos and say this, that, and the other. Just like, um, whatever. You could triangulate me and make me all kinds of a motherfucking bad guy if you want to. And I'm going to give you guys an example real quick about this before I shut it down. Because I'm at the 10 minute mark here now. Look here real quick. Um, where the fuck is that tab at? Here it is right here. I saved it. If you guys could see the screen very briefly here. This is like a collection of news articles about me. The people I've been on the national news fucking US and Canada Associated Press. This is over like 10 years ago almost. Some of this is from like 2009, 2010. US porn website accused of preying on First Nation girls. Shimmy Shimmy McBeb, adult film producer. US pornographer targets Winnipeg Aboriginals. People blogging, talking shit. Porn entrepreneur prowls Winnipeg's North End. Porn site featuring Native women reason alone. Motherfuckers got all kind of you know, pictures of me and shit and stuff on the fucking news and all that and whatever, making me into like this like bad guy, like, hey, he's the evil porn producer guy, blah, 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 blah. Vilification, triangulation, and all kinds of shit like that. And I'll get on to talking about these people in another next episode, but please do not tell me how to fucking deal with my pain and whatever I'm going through. I'll deal with it however I see fit. Okay. This is Shemmy from The Shemmy Show signing out. Follow me on Twitter, Shemmy Triple X, Instagram, Shemmy McBev. Buy my movies, I want your money, honey, and I'll talk more shit on this later. Peace out. Out of here for now. Gotta get some real work done, you know.